everybody welcome back to my channel here on Ursula TV you know I just wanted to just come on here today and I just wanted to say hey, I'm feeling amazing I'm feeling great I've been working out I got my workout clothes on right now and I feel wild and free and everybody always tapes in front of their couch on here and I'm like well hey why don't I just tape on my couch but you know I have to stick with what my fans love and everybody likes to see my outfit so these pants are from Old Navy they're workout pants and they're really 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 comfortable along with some dog hair I hope the lighting's okay because the sun's coming through there but I've got uh, the the curtains shut so I'm hoping that you can see the best of me through this, I'm giving it a trial. Um, oh, it worked out. And I just thought, I think the thing that you guys may not realize here on the YouTube world is <clears throat> as creators, and I can only speak for myself, as creators, as a creator, as a creative person, I'm constantly trying to figure out new ideas that I can post on YouTube that I won't get in trouble for because of all the new, you know, things that makes it ad friendly. And I thought, I have been watching a bunch of interviews lately and I am fascinated by interviews. I'm fascinated uh, about people's stories um, and where they came from, why they're doing what they're doing, um, what makes them tick per se. And I thought, why don't I answer some questions today um, on, and, and I stopped my uh, Snapchat, Curvy Girl, because um, I just, YouTube has a new thing on here that I want to try. And I do have my private Snapchat, however, and it's Fantasy Milf. Um, and that you can get directly on my Patreon. So if you go to Patreon uh, forward slash Ursula TV, I will be adding you to my private Snapchat. But with the uh, Curvy Girl regular Snapchat, it's mainly I'm just keeping it just for my family, just to get along with, just to, for my daughter, my sister, and stuff like that. So I took everybody off of there because I realized People don't need to know what I'm doing every second of the day, you know? So, if you're interested in those. However, I'm going to try more uh, to post things here on the story on YouTube. So, hopefully that'll be interesting to you. Um, but anyway, I thought about the questions that I get asked all the time. And I thought I'd put together a little video here of things I get asked and what makes me click and all of that jazz um and so the first thing i always get is um wow you're so confident i can't believe you're so confident what makes you so confident and i think that that starts with uh years and years of uh feeling not confident of uh, feeling unworthy and unloved and undeserving and Growing up the way I did uh, with mom and a dad and a stepfather, my mom and dad got divorced when I was a baby, my real father, and then my husband or my mom moved in with her parents for a while, and then she met an older man that was like 20 years older than her, and he was a cowboy, and he ended up being an alcoholic, but she didn't realize that until after she married him. And she never drank before she met him. And then she started uh, going to cattle sales with him and leaving us with babysitters. So we had, she had three girls. And then she, he already had raised his girls, my stepdad. He had girls as well. And as soon as he raised the girls, his wife of how many years said, okay, thanks for helping me raise the kids. I'm done with you, bye, basically. And anyway, someday I need to write a book because all my stories are just some something to be like, whoa, I can't believe that happened to you. 
so may someday I may write a book on it because it's so interesting so I'm just gonna give you little bits of pieces so this video doesn't get too long but long story short she said bye I'm done with you and moved in a younger man so then my mom and him met they got married he took on all three of us girls he ended up being an alcoholic he lost his cattle business and then he had to start from scratch and start over and they were basically poor our whole upgrade upbringing and their entertainment was alcohol so they would get drunk and go to cattle sales and just you know that's just what they did we had a whole refrigerator full of alcohol in our dining room that's how it was so i grew up having a bad taste of alcohol in my mouth because of what I had to endure. And then when I would go see my grandparents, they were alcoholics as well. And so it was just, it left a really bad taste in my mouth. So it took me years and years to uh, recover from that. And to this day, I'm like a one or two drink person. And then I stop. I do not like the feeling of being drunk. Sometimes I'll joke and say, oh, I'm drunk, you know, and to me, drunk is two drinks and I'm drunk because I'm a lightweight. Um, and so that's my story on that. And married, people ask me, uh, oh, and I had three sisters or two sisters. So I'm, I'm the baby of three sisters. I have an older sister, a middle sister, and I'm the baby. Um, what else? So how long, have, so then, I went through all kinds of things, you know, with high school and boyfriends that didn't work out and blah, blah, blah. Finally, met my husband in Boise, Idaho, first and only man I have been married to. We've been married, was it 25, 26 years, something like that. So, uh, one marriage, one husband. I had three children, two boys and a girl, and they're all raised. They're all above 18. I'm 48 years old. Um, I have not always been confident. I was very shy, very insecure, very like hated my body after I had children. Um, never wanted to wear bikinis, never wore anything that would show any cleavage. I was very conservative after I had my kids. I went into the role of mom, seriously. I started taking my kids to church. I tried to do everything right with my kids. I was a stay-at-home mom. I went, I drove my kids to school every day. I picked them up. I was very overprotective. Um, I was the mom that was there to listen. So basically what I wanted was I wanted to do things differently. I wanted to give my kids the opportunities that I didn't have. And so I was there for them every second. Am I perfect? No, I've made a ton of mistakes. But nobody gives you the map and says, nobody, there's not an instruction map that tells you how to raise your kids. I believe if you come from your heart and you listen to your children, and allow them to tell you things, even though you may not like what they have to say, allow them to have a voice. That will give them the confidence they need to make it in the world. And you will be forever a mom. They will always need you. Um, and I am the type that I will drop everything for my children. I don't care what I'm doing. If I have a, a, a video that I'm supposed to be doing, if I have, uh, fashion show if I have anything if my kids need me boom I'm there and I just that's the type I am I am really family orientated I am a homebody I love my home I surround my home with everything I love I'm very socially awkward I'm finding out about myself um, like if somebody were to tell me I want to meet you and I want to collaborate with you in my heart, I'd be like, yes, I want to do that because I really would do, would love to do that. I would love to meet my favorite YouTubers. But then my social anxiety would be like, oh, but they're going to see all your flaws and they're going to, they're going to know that you're not perfect. And they're going to know, you know, that, that voice inside of me that you're stupid, you're dumb, da, 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 would come out. And then I'd be like, oh, I can't do it. And I'd probably cancel. 
but I don't know. I'm working through that. I'm hoping that 2019 is a better year for that, that I reach out and, and, uh, do some collaborations and maybe reach out and do some new things that I'm afraid to do. And I feel like that's what YouTube has done for me. And that's why I want to tell everybody about this, because if you're thinking, if you're out there and you're thinking, I'm shy, I'm awkward, I'm boring, nobody would want to watch me, think again, because your voice could be the catalyst of changing somebody else's life. And that's what I found with doing my videos is it makes me emotional when I'm talking about it because it's just like, it's changed my life. And uh, anyway, I didn't expect to do that today, but it's real and authentic. Um, let's see. Are you spiritual? People will say, how could you do what you do? And you know, there are, you have to answer to God. We were born naked and we are going to leave naked. And when you come to terms with that, that everything we put on our body is just um, a facade. It's just because we have to put clothes on. We have to put clothes on to go out into the world. And we get to design and create our own look our own uh, ego, our own um, personality through clothes, expression, and all that. But we are, we were born naked and we're going to die naked. And as soon as you realize that, you're not going to be so like, oh my God, you're showing your naked body or um, worried about what others may think of you. And I spent the majority of my life without a voice and worried about what everybody was going to think about me. And the minute I said, screw it, screw it, was, why is this making me so emotional? Whew. I guess this is how I would be if I ever got interviewed. I would be like this. And so I wouldn't want to have an interview because I would just be like a big ball baby. Um, anyway. This is how I would be. So this is why I have social anxiety is that there's something comforting about turning on a camera and not being able to see anybody behind the camera. And that's how I've been able to, to do this. That's how I've been able to film. And this is a side of me that maybe you haven't seen before. But I think that's why people relate to the YouTubers and relate to people that have videos is because they want the real, the raw person behind the film, behind the camera. And so I think it's important to film like this once in a while so that you can see that I cry, I bleed, you know, we're all, we're all human, we're all flawed, we're all sensitive and we all have pain, we all have hardships. Life is a roller coaster with twists and turns and how you're going to be able to go through the twists and turns and the ups and downs is up to you. And the moment you focus on how you're going to make the change and do better is when you have the self when you go through your self recovery, whether it's meditation, whether it's, uh, I had to constantly post positive words and, and blog and write down my thoughts when I first started so that I would get used to learning how, developing that positive attitude um, and learning what I love 
and what makes me happy and what makes me tick and screw what everybody else thinks. And the minute I went through that and reclaimed me was when I decided, screw it. I am going to do what makes me happy. I am going to do what gets me paid and I'm going to do what I want no matter what. Because if you listen to somebody else and you run your life doing what others tell you to do instead of what you know you are to do in your heart, you are going to be a miserable person. So when I started YouTube, and I realized that people were interested in the confidence that I have with my body, regardless of my size, regardless of my age, I went for it. It took me longer than, than it should have. But now, ever since I started my Patreon, which is my behind the scenes um, of what I can't show on YouTube, it literally has changed my course of my life in such a way, such a profound way, that I still can't believe it to this day. And it's not that I do anything special or do anything that is magical. It's that I have finally said, screw it. This is me. This is me. This is what I got to offer the world. This is it. And whether I'm a size 2 or a size 20, it starts up here and starts right here. And believe me, people feel your energy and they feel your authenticity. And that's what makes you special. And that's what makes you unique. So instead of worrying about what others are doing or what, what's acceptable or what others will think, follow your true passion that's inside of you. And after I got diagnosed with breast cancer at 42, and realized that I got another chance. I am like, I don't care. I'm a late bloomer. I'm 48 years old. I've been married forever. To most my life would be, to most people, my life probably seems so boring and so predictable if you only knew how, what I do. And I do, and most of our lives are doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. But what I get to do for Patreon and my private Snapchat and for my tip snaps is that I get to say, screw it. I get to go back to the way I was born, nakedness and all, and just say, this is me. This is what I got to offer the world. And I just get to get paid for it. And so I am making a lot of people happy every day. And they're making me happy. And I am putting positive energy into the world. And what could be better than that? So I don't know. That's my story of just um, questions and what makes me happy and what makes me tick and why do I love to tease? I love, I, I call myself a professional teaser and maybe it's because in the back of my mind I'm like, Psh, I'm teasing all these people. I'm not really this. I'm not really great. I'm not really wonderful. But if they think I am, great. Isn't that what all actors do? is they play this role and then they hope it's successful. But if it's not, they move on and they find something else that's successful. And I think that's the bottom line in life is 
Put yourself out there. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, find something new. And just because you think your life is going to go into one direction and it veers off to the other direction, don't be afraid to explore that other direction that you never knew that you would ever possibly... You have to understand, I was a shy girl. And the thought of me doing what I do now is just astronomically crazy, but also astronomically amazing at the same time because what I do allows me to be home and to be creative and to put my children first and to put my husband first and to put my dog first and to live the kind of life that I've only dreamt about living. I mean, to remodel my house and take vacations and save for retirement and do all this by the gift that I was given by being born, this body, I mean, it's a no-brainer. I remember years ago um, when I used to watch Coco Austin um, and she'd show her butt all over Instagram and I was like, how could she do that? How could she just show her butt? all over Instagram. And I remember hearing her in a radio talk show or an interview or something, and she said, I never thought that my butt was great until I met Ice. And then when I met Ice, he said, hey, you are, your butt is gorgeous. I never knew my butt was great until somebody said, hey, your butt is gorgeous. You just don't wake up and say, oh my God, my boobs are great, my butt is great. Let's flaunt it, let's show it. I didn't, she probably didn't. But when she found out that she could get paid by showing her butt off as a butt model, she's like, Shh. So you see though, that even though you're a good person and you have good morals and you have good values, if somebody's gonna offer you money for what you already have, a body part you already have, and you can do it in your way, your sophisticated way, and you're not hurting a single soul. It's only bare skin, people. Why do people get so uptight about bare skin? I was one for years. I would not follow anybody that did that. I was like, oh, when I was raising my children, I thought that was just terrible. How could somebody show their boobs and show their ass? How could they do that? But anyway, I am gonna go for now but I plan on answering more questions. Let me know below um, some questions you'd like me to answer for the next video. And if you liked this type of video, and as you see when I talk about the issues that I talk about and, and sharing my past and my life, it does make me tear up because whew, I've been through a lot and it's emotional and it's real and it's raw. And I'm finding that I absolutely love to watch those type of videos. And I know that on the bottom of this, you're going to say, show your ass, show the workouts. But I know that even if this touches one person out there, that I did a good job on this video. And somebody out there needed to hear this today. And I really am a firm believer in that, that some people just need some encouragement. Some people just need to know that they can do whatever they want to do and they can get paid for whatever they're, they, they have, whatever they're, they love, whatever their passion is and whatever, whatever it is. Not to be able to be afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something that you're terrified of doing if it can better your life. And so I thank you all for watching my YouTube channel for here on Ursula TV. I thank you for all for subscribing, for sticking with me, for pushing the bell. And yes, more workouts are coming. I just taped one. I'm going to shoot it out to you soon. Um, I'm feeling amazing. I've been eating healthy. I'm getting ready for summer. And I just feel like 2019 is going to be off the chain. It's going to be amazing. So I hope that you'll continue with me on this journey and let's, let's do some great, positive, amazing things in this world. Starts with you and ends with you. Remember that. Do what you love, love what you do, and, and don't care who cares. 
and I am gonna eventually get that t-shirt out to you guys because I've said that from the beginning do what you love love what you do and don't care who cares and a lot of you have Brett sent me emails saying thank you for that I needed to hear that today I needed that encouragement today I'm stuck in a job that I absolutely hate how can I get paid to be at home and how can I have the courage to to take that next step and how can I do that and all I can say is I failed at a lot of stuff and I tried doing everything the the by the book and by the the way you're supposed to do it but I've always told my kids that sometimes it's the dumbest ideas that make the most money and sometimes it's the unexpected that make the most money and so all I can say is find your true passion and don't let anybody take that away from you. And don't let the haters or anybody in your life uh, sway you from creating your perfect life. Because only you know what you can do and what you love. And I encourage you to do that today. And I encourage you to live this 2019 fabulous and wonderful. And do what you love, love what you do. So have a beautiful day, subscribe, comment, like, push the bell button, and leave your comments and tell me what other questions you want me to answer, and bye for now. And this is, says it all, wild and free.